Good morning, dear friends, and praise the Lord for this. This is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. He has given us this day that we may live and enjoy living and also enjoy overcoming any temptations, overcoming the devil himself by your trust and love in your heavenly Father's care. And uh, remember, we are considering how we overcome the devil. But before we overcome, we have to submit ourselves perfectly to God. And that gives us the authority and power to overcome the devil, our trust in God. The third temptation, consider the third temptation Jesus faced. What was it? Worship. It has to do with worship. As the devil said, he has shown Jesus first the entire universe, the entire planet Earth, the kingdoms with all its splendor, their splendor and greatness and glories. And uh, told Jesus, son of, if you are the son of God, why did you come? You came the whole world to gain the whole world. No problem. I will give you the whole thing to you. Just bow down and worship me. That's all. Notice what the devil is saying. He is showing Jesus all the kingdoms of this world and with its splendor and glory. And telling, I will give you all these. You came to gain back the world, isn't it? See that rightfully, Jesus Christ is the rightful owner of planet Earth. Now, here is the catch. Worship means what? Jesus' reply said what the scripture says. The scripture says, you shall worship the Lord your God and him alone you will serve. Worship means service. When I am in perfect union with God, I begin to worship him. And worship gives birth to my joyful service to God. The one who, uh, who, 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 who worship, he will serve the one whom you worship. This is my joyful surrender and submission to God, out of which the victory proceeds. And I am able to rebuke the devil. Get behind me, Satan. Get out of my way. And the devil fled from Jesus. One more look at Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. Where he prayed, Father, if it is possible, remove this cup from me. That was his human will. But immediately he prayed again. Nevertheless, it is not my will, but your will be done. And if Jesus had not submitted himself to God the Father's will, where would have been the world today? Utter darkness and without any hope of salvation or eternal life. But thanks be to God, Jesus resisted the devil and he remained faithful to his Father's will. And the Father's will was what? The cross. And because Jesus went to the cross, we have eternal life and salvation today. And what a glorious thing it is. If you want the devil to flee away from you, this is what you have to do. Worship the Lord and, and serve him. Anyone who worship will serve the one who, whom he worships. We worship the Lord, and because we worship him, we serve him. And remember this, 
worship without service is never complete. Your service is an expression of your worship. Because you worship the one, because he is worthy of your service. God bless you as you not only worship, but serve. This, uh, this, uh, this is a two uh, sides of the same coin. Your worship and your service. You cannot be a worshipper of God and not serve him. That is impossible. And the more you serve him, the more you worship him. The more you worship him, the more you serve him. Let it be your experience in the days to come. And God's blessing be upon you. And the Holy Spirit is there to help you in all this. Living a Christian life as it should be. Worshipping God and serving God. And bringing people to this faith. God's blessing be upon you, my friends. This is a great day. And may the Holy Spirit enable you to live as you should live in relationship with God. Amen.